Being a polyglot can be very socially and personally advantageous uh, and you can have like a lot of uh, opportunities. So I'm gonna tell you how, but first I'm gonna tell you what is a polyglot. So we call the polyglot a person that is able to speak at least three languages or multiple languages. So my name is Nora, I come from Switzerland and I can speak five languages. So I can speak French, I can speak German, I can speak Swiss German, I can speak English of course and Indonesian. Since I can speak all of these languages, my life is really great, I have to say, it's really like a big advantage for me. Um, of course I have to say that I kind of grew up speaking or learning many languages, so it's kind of normal let's say, especially in my country, Switzerland because we always confronted to the other languages, at least two of them. So it's, you know, you always hear something else, like different words and people. So I think it was, it's really, since the beginning, great for me. But now as an adult, I can really tell I'm really more conscious about it. And I can really tell that it's a big, big, big plus for my life to be able to communicate with people, to get to know more information, and you know, like there is so many, so much more information in different languages, right? So for me, it's really important to stay open-minded. So yeah, it's a big plus, guys. <laughs> By being a polyglot, I can definitely mention some advantages. For example, uh, for your work. So it can happen that you have some languages that your employer or future employer needs. So for you, it's a big plus because, you know, they know you're going to be able to have like to work on a larger market or to communicate with clients, etc. So it's definitely something that is really good for you. And as well, of course, maybe the most interesting for me is about the culture, uh, being open minded to get to know more people, to get to know about the culture, their mindset, what they do, how they think. So, you know, language is so much more than just words, right? So I think that's for me really a good, good advantage. And I, I'm going to tell you something that you probably don't know about is when you're able to speak many languages your brain also works better especially if you want to learn new skills for example I don't know how to build a business finances talks or just marketing or whatever the connection in your brain are already stronger so it makes it makes the things easier for you and it uh, helps you to stay in a all the time learning modus so I never got a raise because of my language skill, sadly, but definitely I got many jobs because I was able to speak many languages. Uh, in Switzerland, for example, I used to live in, a, in the capital, which is Bern, and it's on the border, let's say, between uh, the French speaking part and the German speaking part. And of course, if you can speak both, then you're going to get employed very quickly in comparison to someone that just speak one language. So of course he was a big plus for me. So I'm gonna explain you how being a multilingual speaker uh, affects my life. So I would say it's a big advantage in your personal life to be able to talk with people and to, you know, kind of being getting closer to people because if you cannot speak the language, then it's hard to say anything and it's hard to connect, right? So I feel like if I am able to speak many languages, it opens up to uh, so many uh, people and so many things I can learn from them and so many things I can uh, learn to them as well. So I think it's really nice. So I will tell you a story, guys. Actually, uh, I learned two full languages by uh, being in a relationship with a native. So first of all, I met in Switzerland a guy um, that was uh, from the German part and couldn't speak French, of course. So I was the one that had to learn uh, Swiss German because as I, as I said, like people from the German speaking part from Switzerland, they hate to speak in German, like the normal German, let's say. Um, so you need to, to learn Swiss German, otherwise, you know, they're going to be like, oh, you know. So I had to learn this language, not for him, because for me, I mean, I wanted to talk to him, right? So that was my first experience and the second relationship, that's my actual relationship with an Indonesian guy. So same, I couldn't speak at all. And by being with him, by being with him all the time, chatting, video calling, and then meeting in person, uh, my level improved so much. And I think it's not, you know, I cannot compare uh, with other languages uh, because it's really by being with the native that you learn so much more. So I will tell you a story, especially in Bali, uh, when someone is trying to take advantage of you, not in a bad way, but you know, 
Like as a foreigner, if you go to the market, like the local market, uh, if you don't speak Indonesian at all, you're going to have a certain price, right? And the price is going to be high, I tell you. But at this point, you don't understand. So you don't know about the price. You're like, okay, sounds fine. And then later on, when you start to be comfortable, you start to learn Indonesian, and then um, you go to the market again, blah, 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 you speak Indonesian. And then the price is like at least half less, you know, like even more, you know, it's really like crazy. And then you think about when you were that uh, foreigner guy or girl before and you're like, oh, I've been totally scammed. <laughs> so in my opinion, there is definitely a difference uh, in the way how people treat you when you speak their own languages. Um, I mean, of course, they feel more comfortable to talk to you as well and you can get closer to them. Um, for example, when I was not speaking Indonesian at all, it was hard to connect with people and to really feel like, oh, we can have something in common maybe. And I feel like now the difference is big because they maybe see this also as a, like a, a mark of respect or something that you put effort in learning the language and want to integrate yourself basically. So yeah, I would say there is a difference for sure. I think everyone has what it takes to speak multiple languages, but for some people definitely it's easier than from other. I mean, I'm good at speaking or learning languages, but I'm super bad at math. Okay, you know, like that's it. <laughs> and, but it doesn't mean I could never be good or average, you know? So I think it's also like practicing and maybe your own belief as well. If you believe, oh, I cannot speak another language, I'm so bad, whatever. Then of course you're not gonna learn it, right? So I think people, some people have definitely like more facility than other, but it's not like a fatality, right? Okay, so you, if you, for example, you have some beliefs about language that you cannot learn a new language or something like that, then I invite you to change your mindset and to look at your belief, uh, write them down maybe and kind of just construct them, why you could learn, are you so bad, what's the reason why you couldn't learn it, and then you're gonna see there is actually no reason. So you're totally able to learn any language that you want um, and you're gonna make it. I'm not sure if the world would be a better place if everyone could speak many languages. Uh, I cannot really say, but what I can say or what I think um, is that definitely if people will speak more languages. It will show that um, they're more open and they want to get closer to people. They want to make a step towards people. And I think that's the mindset. It's not maybe about the languages itself, but more about the mindset being more open to each other and kind of have more empathy and uh, tolerance maybe as well. So I will give you my tips uh, to learn more languages. The first tip is don't be shy. Uh, don't be afraid of being judged of, of, or being wrong or being like laughed at or something like that. Just forget about it. Uh, just go for it and trust yourself. You're gonna make it. It takes a bit of time for sure. You're not gonna learn a language in just one day. It doesn't happen overnight, obviously, but in a few months, you can, within a few months, you can already see like a, a big difference and just continue, be consistent and of course, uh, have fun. Have fun in the process and enjoy what you learn, enjoy what people are gonna learn to you and all these benefits that you get, uh, not only the language itself. Bye guys, see you in the next video. Bye tout le monde, on se retrouve dans la prochaine vidéo.